Today, I will be demonstrating how to use a field test to determine soil texture. I've attached a photo here so that you can get a good visual of the particle size. The first thing I will do is hold the soil in my hands and feel for any grainy or grittiness. If the soil feels very gritty, it contains a higher amount of sand. The soil doesn't feel very grainy, but just in the way it's very crumbly, I would say it doesn't contain a high amount of clay either. I can feel a bit of flowery material and you can see it a bit on my fingertips. These are smaller sized grains like the silt. Now I've added a bit of water to the soil mixture and will perform the moist cast test by pressing the soil into a ball and assessing how well the soil holds together. You can see that this forms a solid ball that stays together. This lets me know that I have some clay holding the soil together. If the soil contained a high percent of sand, it would not hold together. In the ribbon test, I am trying to squeeze the moist soil between my thumb and forefinger to form the longest and thinnest ribbon possible. This is tricky depending on the soil texture. More clay in the soil will allow you to form a longer ribbon, whereas soil with less clay will break off sooner. This should be done multiple times to ensure a consistent result. After much effort, I was able to form small ribbons about 2-3 to three centimeters in length. Now we will be looking at a different type of soil. So you can see from the photo here that the grain size is much larger, and there appears to be much less of the finer material. I'm going to rub this between my fingers and feel the graininess. I can feel a lot more sand in this soil. I also notice less of the flowery material, and most of the particle size seem quite large. So now I've added some water and I'm going to try to see how well this soil will hold together. With the water added, it is very difficult to get this soil to form a ball. There must not be a lot of clay to hold this soil together. The ball I am able to form is very weak and must be handled carefully. This tells me I have little clay in this soil. Because this soil is so sandy, the ribbon test does not apply. To further understand the composition of this soil, a mason jar test could be done. We have a video on that as well. Thank you for watching this video on performing a soil texture field test.